Now, uh, they've taken 10 years to create, and tonight several giant animal paintings are being unveiled as part of a new campaign to raise awareness about the threats faced by wildlife. The exhibition is on over at the Royal Horticultural Halls in Westminster. Ellie Cunningham is down there for us this evening. Look at the size of it, Ellie. It's huge. <laughs> It is huge. The halls have been taken over by wild animals. As you can see here behind me, this is a life-size Rothschild giraffe. And throughout the entire room, they are filled with life-size drawings. Now, it really does fill you with awe standing next to something. Such majesty of the natural world. And that's what this whole exhibition wants to inspire. It's called This Is Our World. And all the images here are life-size and built to actual size. There's a great white over there which you do not want to stand near it's terrifying but it's here to inspire people to enjoy the natural world but it's also here to raise awareness of the fragility of it now every animal that's featured in this exhibition is either endangered or threatened and that's what they're trying to prove to get visitors to take an interest into these animals and being inspired to help the conservation of them now one of the charities that is involved with this project and is going to benefit from this exhibition is Born Free and Will Travis is the president of the charity. Thank you, Elena. Thanks yes. for joining us. Now, thank you, thank you London Live. <laughs> well, first of all, yes. what's your reaction? Because they're quite it's amazing. big. Amazing. It's overwhelmingly fantastic. And as you were saying in your introduction, life size. And it's not often. I mean, I go on safari and I take people on safari and I do all the conservation work in Africa, but even I do not get like this close to a life size elephant. And I think that's what's going to blow people's minds when they come to this exhibition. Absolutely, and you, with your work that you do with Born Free, you're trying to raise awareness of the conservation that needs to be done. Talk us through that, because how bad is the situation out there right now? Well, it's some of the species in this room we work directly with. Elephants, for example, we work directly with giraffe, we work with lions. So let's, let's take lions. When Born Free, the film was made, which my mum and dad were in, a long time ago, and I was there, so now I've given away my age in the 1960s, um, there were about 100,000 or more lions in Africa. And today there are 20,000. So we've lost 80% of Africa's lions in 50 years. And that, if that continues, then there will be only a handful of countries in which wild lions will remain alive. Take elephants, for example. Um, Tanzania, a stronghold for elephants for many, many years, lost 60,000 elephants in five years. That's 1,000 elephants every month for, for, for five years. If we don't do something about it, then we are going to be in trouble. As a human race, we are responsible for the world around us. We can either make it better or we can make it much worse. It's shocking figures there, but being in London, we're based here in Westminster right now, a cynic might say, well, we're a long way away from these animals. Why should we be caring for them or thinking of them when we may not ever see them up close ourselves? Well, we may never see them up close, but I tell you what, open any little child's alphabet book and it'll go, E is for elephant and it will not be ears for extinct. And that is where we will go if we do not all get together and become a movement to protect life on Earth. I mean, come on, David Attenborough has been telling us for the last 50 years that we have to get our act together. If we don't do it now, it will be too late. And that's why I hope everyone, everyone will come. This is free. This is a free exhibition. Come down here, look at these amazing artworks. The, the, the artist is absolutely fantastic. And be inspired, and then go and do something and whatever that little thing is for wildlife. It could be a, a window box, it could be plants for butterflies. If you've got an allotment, make sure that it's bee friendly. Just do anything to make our natural world that little bit more secure. Thank you very much, Will, for having us here tonight. No, and thank you for the interview. Now, this exhibition is free, as he said. And if you want to come along and be inspired yourself, it's here at the Royal Horticultural Halls and it's on until the 25th of August.